They coming, they coming, they coming. Hit the button, hit the button. Young World, the story sounds ridiculous, but it's a good reason for the situation that's going on, what's happening. So apparently, the McDonald's McFlurry machine is being investigated by the Federal Trade Commission. Like I said, it sounds ridiculous. You probably thinking like Joker, what is this even what does this even mean? Doesn't even what does it mean actually? So apparently, I guess a lot of jokers go to McDonald's and been complaining about the McFlurry machines being broke. I don't eat McDonald's, so I wouldn't know. You know, I don't eat fast food like that. But um I can say though, doing Grubhub, I did notice a couple of times I went there to pick Joker's food up and they was like, Oh, we don't got the McFlurry that, that, that's something I did I, I did notice that. But apparently it's not McDonald's who's under investigation. It's the company who makes the McFlurry machine. The company's name is Teller. So they're saying that this company Teller makes the machines in a way that causes the machines to always break down. So McDonald's can always send the machines back out or have them come in to service them or repair the machines. Which is a good hustle, by the way. You know what I'm saying? And there's also something called the right to repair. This, this movement that's going on, I guess it's a bill in Congress. Which, like I said, actually trickles down to a lot of people because how many things do you have that once they break, you got to send them out to get repaired, especially if you don't got a warranty and you got to pay for it, you know what I'm saying, stuff like that. But it's being investigated under the, under the rights to repair, not act, but under those guidelines and standards because they're alleging that this company keeps giving McDonald's fraudulent machines, not not fraudulent, but machines that will inevitably always break down. That way they can send the machines back to get service, which makes them get an extra paycheck every time the machine breaks. And with the number of times that McDonald's and McFlurry machines breaks all around the world, you would think McDonald's, billions and billions and billions of dollar corporation, can figure out how to keep a goddamn McFlurry machine working long enough to where, you know what I'm saying, you wouldn't just have an epidemic of people not getting the goddamn McFlurry. Because joking, one thing I do like at McDonald's, if I did go back to eat, will be... Oreo McFlurry. I haven't had one in years, but just thinking about it, I feel like going and getting one right now. But I'm not. But it's a good hustle. You know what I'm saying? One of my mechanics years ago, my car my car mechanics I had, um, used to work on my cars. Even my kids noticed this. This joker used to always, he always had a reason for me to be seeing him at least once a month. You know what I'm saying? I always had like, like three cars I used to work on. There was always a reason for me to have to call the Joker up, even my kids noticed. It was like, I ain't going to say his name, but it's always working on your cars. Is he um, breaking your car so you got to keep calling him back so you can keep getting money from you? Even kids noticed it. You know what I'm saying? So there are Jokers out here that do operate like this shady business practices. You know what I'm saying? So apparently it's enough of a reason for the Federal Trade Commission to get involved to look into this company called Teller who makes these McFlurry machines. A little tidbit of information of, of, that don't really mean nothing, but just in case you was wondering if you heard about the story going on with McDonald's and why you keep going to McDonald's, Joker, and you waiting in line, only to find out that the McFlurry machine is goddamn down. Bye.